Yo, hey YouTube, guys and gals, we're back with the Mortuary Assistant. Shift 6 is awaiting us, so I rewatched my first shift, and thankfully, already in the first shift, I've been dragged into the nightmare where all the corpses uh, with the numbers on their forehead uh, appear, where one of them has the key to leave the nightmare. So I did some. I took some notes. I wrote down the numbers because n not only do they have numbers, they have little boxes uh, on top of the numbers. And there is six boxes, and the box that is blackened out is the number, the you know the order in which you have to put in the numbers. So we're gonna try and open the little keypad that's under the desk in the examining room. So, let's see if this leads us somewhere. And without further ado... Wait, can I... Maybe I can do this here and I don't have to do it when we're in game. Let's start! Let's go! Let's go! <sighs> this game... This game. Let's hope for the best. We have still two endings to clear. Ending four and five. So, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Fix your game, please. Just something minor, but still. Yeah. You shut up. <laughs> so, I do not think that in this room anything will uh, change. What I wonder, I got... My grandma gave me... Gave me the necklace, right? The necklace my dad had. Where is it? Where is the necklace? I'm wondering. Did I lose it? Did I... Not sure. It's not in here. No. I did not cook it in the microwave, I don't think so. So, okay, I can only... Okua Surreal, it supposedly doesn't have bees in it, but they keep putting it on the box. That it's got... <laughs> what the fuck? It's got bees in it. <laughs> no way. Okay. Moth bomb surreal. It's insanely sweet. Yeah, what I heard, I don't know. I have not been in America myself yet. But I heard that uh, American food, at least the, the sweet stuff, is far more sweeter than we are used in, in Europe. A uh, former friend of mine always got uh, things from his friend who lives in America and it was incredibly sweet so yeah where is this I wonder where is this necklace did I fuck it up not sure maybe it's a but why would it be in the mortuary I don't know let's go so this is are the numbers I noted down hopefully it makes sense. It says 1970, which is kind of a date that appears in the game again and again. And the last two numbers are 44. And you remember the last episode I took a screenshot of the engraving in the wall in one of the nightmare scenes where there is dots, 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 44. And on one text it also says... Uh, Six makes it complete, something like that. So, wash our hands, like always. My face looks fucked up because the mirror is. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay, grab this. 
And we... I do not have... Well, why would it be in here? I'm... It's really bo bothering me that I do not have the necklace. That's fucked. Kinda... It's just a recording thing? I don't know. Anyways. Got some work to do. Was there a light flickering already? For reals? Oh wait, before we do anything else... 90459 90459 Okay, let's do this quick. At least I can keep track of things. Yep. Shit, I think I've forgotten it already. 90450? Oh, shit, okay. So much for speedrunning. <laughs> I'm so bad with numbers. 90459. God damn it. 90459. Will be my mantra. 90459. Let's go. Okay. You little fucker! <laughs> Piss off! I wonder, does anything happen if I stay here? Does he do anything more? You see him in the in the upper right corner, upper left corner. My dude. No, I don't think he's doing anything. He just shows, bitch, I'm here, and I'm trying to get you. And I have to tell you, nope, you won't. Okay, so the the necklace is, I don't know. We do not have the necklace. That's a bummer. For real. That's a bummer. Okay, whatever. Oh wait. Okay, I need this. And this and this. And nothing else. Also, I still am thinking about the matches should be able to burn something and uh, plastic sacks where you have you can uh, put ashes in Gene Douglas Gracie Todd and Randall Clark very suspicious so let's go with the first one always in order oh I forgot the paper immensely import important never forget the paper Just in case. Um, ah! Forgot the gurney! Very important. <laughs> Do not forget the gurney. Can I go the other way around? No. Shit. Okay. So this is the indie version of surprise mechanics. You don't see where you're going, so good luck with that. Okay. Let's go! Are you spooky? They all are, kind of. And I'm still thinking, what if... I mean, the bodies look pretty nice. I can't say anything else. But what if the wounds you're uh, doing while you're uh, working on them... <coughs> Excuse me. What if the wounds would look more... Really? Excuse me. Hello? Hello. Rebecca? Rebecca? Yeah, fuck off. Don't have time for your bullshit. So, nothing. That looks bad. You should see a doctor about that. I think. So I've seen someone in the forum, in the Steam forum, bragging that he just finished the game in 6 minutes, 40 seconds, something like this. And I'm wondering, uh, you finished one shift in this time? 
or the whole game means all endings and stuff. I'm not sure. And I do not want to watch a video about it because... I, fuck. I don't want to get spoiled. Okay. Ah! I'm stupid. First hack it in. Whitey, are you coming back? Ah, you can do it this way around too. We got something in the head. Left arm, right arm. Right arm. Hello. Left arm. Left leg. Right leg. That's it. What? Did I miss something? Left arm, right arm. Huh. Head? Did I? Wait. Did I miss something? Am I stupid? Where? Oh, fuck. Okay. They are really not easy to see. There we go. What is that? There is nothing. The fuck? Weird. Okay. So, right shoulder. No, right shoulder. Yippee, aye, aye. Shut up. Um, it's the P with two dots. Wait, we gotta put this in here. No, nothing here. Wait, just in case. So I take it there will nothing happen to my mirror reflection and there will nothing happen to the portrait, nor to the Jesus. What am I doing here? Grabbing a paper. Which... Shut up. Really is a shame. I really say at yeah. least the mirror reflection is a... Uh, would be an opportunity... Ah, eyes. God damn it. You're not looking at me, that's nice of you. All right. Chemical time. <laughs> what? Did you do? You did just. You just moved, right? You little fuck. You just move. I've seen you. Hmm. I think so. I do think so. Let me see. I can't. Fuck. Okay, we need this and this and the tubeoids. I did hear steps, but nothing. So, you little fucker. There to move again. I was just kidding. Okay. Can I turn this on at least? No. Okay. Where is your necklace? Where is your necklace? Can I go around you? No, I can't. <laughs> so this is something where I'm not sure, can I do something with this appearance or no? I'm really wondering. I'm really wondering. 
Okay, let's turn this on. This time I won't take the round to the bathroom because I don't think that while this is running anything can happen. I don't think so. You got a lot of ketchup inside, sir. What did you eat? How many burgers? Okay. Just free you of this shit. Stitch you back up. Now we're gonna look if there is something. Some new symbol. Did I? I did not yet put the P in. No, I did not. Fuck. So, I'm really wondering what did happen to the necklace? What happened to the necklace? Huh. Okay, let's put the P in before we forget. <laughs> let's put the P in. Okay. It was this one. Back. Because Mr. Demon thinks he's funny. And deletes some of the symbols, which is not funny. Okay. I really don't have time. Yeah, your freaking demon sounds are not scary. Not anymore. Yesterday I watched an insum video <coughs> there we go. about a super active ghost and I think it was a banshee and insum um, finally showed <coughs> that with the parabolic microphone you can Sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes you can hear the Banshee scream and it sounds fucking disturbing. Holy shit, that's one scream. Really spooky, really creepy. Okay. Is there something back there maybe? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. No. No. Nice. It's the Z with the circle thingy. Okay. Put this in. And then we do some... Where is it? There it is. Uh, moisture. <coughs> All right. Okay. Ah, and we need another paper. I, I keep forgetting stuff. I can do this too. It's not scary. It was the first time. But since then, not anymore. The jump scares here and then still get me because they're really well made. So, Gracie. <coughs> okay. Well, he did move. Shit, we should have checked if he has some marks. Ah, maybe when we're done with the last one, I think we still got time. So nothing yet happening, no. You got anything? Nope. So see, you could break up this routine if the corpses 
had different states or more more different looks if there were more models it wouldn't be or not be it wouldn't become so much of a routine i don't say boring for a reason because i don't think it's boring but there could be more change in in the way the corpses look call me morbid but maybe really wow okay did you do anything else or just shut the door little fuck um, imagine having uh, drowned corpses which really look disgusting I've seen some photos and holy shit or you have fuck no why not did I miss something I have to put this in Nothing on the head, something on the right shoulder, something on the right arm, something on the right leg, something on the left leg. <coughs> but design-wise it's always, I think, a question of how much can you show the audience uh, how much can you risk before your game gets beaten down by uh, censorship so I understand that they keep it uh, not so realistic as they might be able to do it did you again say I already died but it was a male voice Um, what do we do? We do this. There we go. All right. This looks weird, kind of. Fucking hell. <laughs> so, camp time. <laughs> Shit, I wanted to look in the cellar. God damn it. I keep forgetting stuff. Maybe it's an age thing. <coughs> Uh, what? These. Okay, while this is running, the pump, later on, uh, I will try the code. Man, I just completely freaked out about my shadow. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got... I can see shit. One... Oh, I can't do this this way. One, ninety seven, four, four. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is it called a hatch key? Hedge key. Okay. Should we? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, this is wow. This is tension is real. 
hatch key. Oh, we got six feet under as an achievement. Okay. What? Something happening? Mr. Delver, it is a great shame I will not be seeing you, but I appreciate you sharing this with me as this does seem to provide a reaction. And what you have made does make sense. It's a very clever way to identify a specific entity. However, I am curious as to the reason for the body identification aspect as you would need the blood of the possessed inside the vessel which, I assume, would already be the case and tenancy would be obvious. So I don't really see the value of identifying the vessel. However, the demonic identification and binding aspect of this is fantastic. Thank you for sharing your work. It's a great help to mine. As you have requested, I have returned everything with this shipment. With great respect, Akil. Okay. More to read? Dear Mr. Salah. That's gotta be Akil. It was a pleasure working with you. But I'm sorry to say that I simply can't afford to travel back out to you. I have more questions about the Athenian translations, but I was also hoping you could send over the documents you had shared on quarter letting. Honestly, any documents you could create copies of and send would be extremely helpful. The package accompanying this letter contains some of the clay carvings I have made in an attempt to create the symbols you shared. I have also designed a folder for them. My hope is to combine the markings and holder to compromise a demonic identifier that will also call the entity to it and bind it there, if correct. The silver capsule in the center of the holder I thought something happened with my shadow. God damn it. The silver capsule of the center of the holder contains the ash of burnt coffers and is lined with demonic calling runes. Based on your conversations, I believe on our conversations, I believe this can react with fresh blood from the possessed. I wanted to request that you give the contents of this package a look and let me know if this seems like a viable method to bind an entity, with privacy also being extremely important to me. I wanted to request you please send everything back, including this letter. All my best to Raymond. Okay, what else do we have? Am I safe down here? Do I need to speed things up? Okay, so he's making this stuff here. I'm missing something. What? Okay. So this is what all what all the pictures are. He's Okay, March 27th, 1989. I've been working relentlessly and I believe that I have made some progress. I haven't pieced together much, but I have found enough that has led me to a contact in Egypt. I'm flying out there in a few days to meet and talk about what's been happening. April 29th, 1989. My trip to Egypt was extremely successful. I feel I'm broke now, <laughs> but it was worth it. Mr. Salah is an amazing help. I've come back with mountains of documents and copies of religious text. I had no idea existed. It's changed a lot of what I believe. I'm going to start poring over these and see what I can piece together. There's something here, I can feel it. December 8, 1989. I'm so tired and angry, I feel so helpless. I can't do this anymore. Valerie didn't do anything to deserve this. None of them did. I can't bring myself to do it. I'm keeping Valerie here. I can't help her. I'm sure of it. I feel like I'm so close to something that can stop this, but I don't know what I'm missing. Holy shit, is this his wife? This is the girl who fed him the blood? I've been working on a number of things meant to combat these entities. I have found ways to uncover their sigils, which is promising. I have distilled this down to a science and I know I can find the missing piece. I will help you, Valerie. 
I hate what I, what I have to do. I have to feed her and care for her, even though she's violent and gone. It is far too similar to how it's this all began, and I hate it. I always think there is something moving. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> 30 years of this. I have a theory and I don't like it, but I can't let this happen to anyone else. This has to stop. I have some things I've been working on that I'm going to send off to Mr. Salah and get his opinion. If it's a viable method, I'm going to take this head on. If I can't stop it, I'll keep it at bay. February 18th, 1990. I've received some great news from Mr. Salah. I've been fortunate enough to not have another compromised body up to this point, but now I need one. My plan now is to work in the mortuary alone until this happens again. If I can establish myself as a potential conduit and survive the possession using these tools, I think I may be able to take control as well. Oh shit. As keep this from happening to others. I don't know what this means for Valerie. It's the only piece of this I don't know how to live with, but I might have to. Otherwise, it's all been for nothing. Wow, you're in some really deep shit, Mr. Delver. Okay, so we got all the shit. Ah, we need the old key. Fucking hell, okay. You're all clear, yeah? Okay, this takes a lot of time, but I don't care. If we die, we die. Or get possessed, whatever. This is far too new and intriguing to just let go. Are you out there? Oh shit! Oh, oh I knew you'd find me. I'm what the fuck? Okay, he's already has the symbols in there. What am I doing with you? I don't have any key? Okay, fuck. I can't... and I wouldn't want to climb in there. Okay, I'm a bit... I don't know. Can we? I can't use that here. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Mm, nothing I can do here. Okay. Okay, that's. I got an achievement, but I couldn't. I didn't see what it said. Okay, wow, that's... So Valerie is obviously his wife or girlfriend. Fuck. That's... F okay. Oh man, fill an empty... Yeah. Yeah, I got... I...
Uh, I guess it's you, the first corpse I examined. Okay. So, actually, do we have to go on, or can I just burn the fucker? Let's finish this, then we bring her back. And we're gonna take a look if he has any more signs. And then we burn the fucker. So like this, if this wound would be more... Uh, hello? I need to report a missing person. Yeah. Uh, sorry, her name is Rebecca Owens. She's 14. She, she, she has a drug problem. I, I, I don't know. She was here at the house. That I need you to check them. Uh, hello? All right. I need to report right. a missing person. Uh, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. She, she. She has a drug problem. Okay, this is overlapping, I guess. You're gonna fall to your death. Wake up, Elton. No, did you know? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Fuck. Okay, baby, don't worry. It's okay. It's okay, Tom. I'll, I'll get you out of here. The police are, are just right, right up there. I, I, I'm coming back. I'm coming right back. I'm wondering about the necklace because there is one nightmare hey! scene, and hey! I don't know if it's no! this one. Where you <laughs> where you end up smashing his face in. He lies on a on a gurney and you no it's not this. <laughs> I wonder if you have another option if you do not need to smash his head in. Okay. Any more shocks for me? Uh, since we're already here, I'm gonna get this done. And this is his wife, let me guess. This would be fucking sad. No. Okay, and we got the uh, weird triangle thingy. Oh, uh, where is it? The weird triangle thingy? One more. Okay, let's clean the fucker. One more paper. So I wonder, in the nightmare scene where you smash your father's face in with the with the rock you find there, could I give the necklace back to him? But if yes, where is my necklace? Fucked up. This game is so fucked up. Okay. Right. Okay, we're gonna take you back. Because I don't think you're it. I really don't. So, you, bitch. Almost.
You are quite suspicious, good sir. You are really suspicious. You moved. Your box hammered. What else do... Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. We have some more. And in that cellar, but I couldn't do anything. I could not um, put together the chemicals. There is nothing to incinerate her. Huh. No new signs yet. So what do we do? What do we do? Uh, let's check the symbols. Maybe we can figure out it. We can figure it out by just three. The P, the Z with the with the thingy, and the triangle. thingy? Nope. Fuck, what? The P, the triangle and this one? Yeah, okay. So it's the L. It's triangle L, P, Z. Triangle L, P, Z. Um. Wait. L, P, Z. Oh, wait, fuck. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, this triangle. Then we got the L. Then we got the P. And then we need... Where is it? Triangle LPZ. I think that's right. Right? Um, triangle LP and Z. Can you rotate any slower? Fuck, I got it wrong. Fantastic. Triangle LPZ. Okay. Triangle L P C. We do not get it wrong. So lights out, running with the devil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come at me. Fuck you! I'm not scared of you. What the hell? Um. Okay. Um, I mean, the design is really. C it's she's really disgustingly. Creepy. Really, really. Screenshot. Boop. No? Screenshot. Okay, so I go back to you. You come running at me. He stand with the back to me. And his head was turned around. And you're still there. What the fuck is going on? I think I glitched the game. <laughs> okay, whatever. You're coming with me. And you're gonna burn, bitch. You're gonna burn... like a motherfucker.
There we go. Can I even? Sure, this is the right one. Yes, I am. And you're gonna burn. I don't care. And you? You keep standing there. Yes. Really, man. If this is the wrong one, I quit. <laughs> I quit. Why are you not disappearing? For real. And I got... Or set another achievement? I can't... How long do we record? 45 minutes. Wow. Hush, hush. I'm really curious. I'm really curious. Oh, Raymond. I'm here. I can't believe you. What you've been doing is monstrous. I've said already that I've had to accept everything about myself, just like you do. This is a necessary evil. Sick. She's down there, right now, just suffering for no reason. Valerie is not down there. Not anymore. She's been gone for years. You don't know that. You're just gonna let her stay there. You don't know what she's feeling. You are torturing her. She's helping me survive. She's helping us survive. Without her, there's no reagent. Without the reagent, we have nothing. Okay. If you want to have a chance at life, it comes with a cost. This cost. You have to make a choice, just like I did. What choice? Keep her alive to just bleed her over and over again to save ourselves? If she can't be saved, end the torture. I mean, she's down there suffering for your own gain. My gain? My gain. You used her too. It didn't stop you from finishing the job. You used her blood anyway. When it came down to it, you got a you point. Chose survival, just like I did. I can't kill her, Rebecca. I know it's the right thing to do for her. I know. But she isn't the only one. I've seen many experience what you did. None have survived. I've watched them degrade and suffer until they're no longer themselves. I didn't know what else to do. I couldn't just let them suffer. I searched for years to find a way to reverse it. All I found was the way to prevent more. Isn't that better than nothing? I've killed them all, Rebecca. It was the only thing I could do. So yes, I am a monster. But this one horrible thing has prevented me from having to take any more life. And I would choose that again and again. I can't live with any more death than I already do. I've made peace with it. The choice is yours if you can too. I'll see you tomorrow. He's got a point. Ending four out of five. Okay. Who? That was a tense outro. Wow. <laughs> Shit. So, so he needs his possessed wife to extract blood from her to create this special ingredient which he uses to burn down the demons in the right corpse. That's quite a twist. So that's the, the symbolism about, well, it's not really a symbolism, it's pretty straight in your face when the woman feeds him with blood. 
and the woman is hanging up there and, and he collects blood in a in a bucket. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll keep this short. I hope you enjoyed it. We've been in the basement, we discovered how Mr. Delver is creating the ingredients that he needs to get rid of possessed corpses. Shit, I'm wondering what the last ending is. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Till then, I'll see you in the next episode of The Mortuary Assistant. Cool game, really cool game. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe wherever you are and peacing out. Bye bye.